Hello, I'm Michael Henna, new president of Ask Me Local 88, Multnomah County Employees Union. This message I want to give a brief introduction, a little bit about myself, some history about Ask Me Local 88, the top five things that I want to work on in my two term, two year term as president of Local 88, and some closing remarks. First off, I want to thank Becky Stewart, who served as a president of a Local 88 for the last five years. She did an amazing job of transforming our organization that into one that is more democratic and inclusive for our members. She laid a foundation that I can now expand upon, and I respect her leadership and her integrity in serving our members. A little bit about myself. I was born in 1971. I'm 38 years old. I was born in Dunleary, Ireland. My parents were um, a bit nomadic. We traveled around Europe for the first five years of my life, and then at which point my parents brought me to the United States. I think the greatest gift that my parents ever gave me was to have be born in Europe so that I have dual citizenship. When I think about what type of leader that I aspire to be, well, I'm a bit of a sci-fi geek, so I think it's appropriate to aspire to be a mix of several fictional leaders. The first one would be Captain Picard from Star Trek Next Generation, then a mix of Star Starbuck and Adama from Battlestar Galactica, and a mix of Mal from Serenity. But enough about me. Now I want to give you a brief history of Ask Me Local 88. Local 88 was formed in 1937. We have minutes in our office from our meetings dating back to 1947, which are manual, uh, written on a manual typewriter on fraying paper. In those earliest minutes, there's discussion of a fight with the sheriff over the 40-hour work week, as well as uh, tax, statewide tax measures to increase revenue for public service. And uh, it's kind of ironic given that we have tax measures coming up in January, measure 66 and 67, where so also to increase tax revenue for public service. In April of 1968, a fact that uh, some, some AFSCME members don't know, Martin Luther King Jr. traveled to Memphis, Tennessee to support some striking AFSCME sanitation workers. The day after he arrived, he was assassinated. ASPE Local 88 is affiliated with Council 75, which is a statewide council for AFSCME. That has 24,000 members statewide, which are part of AFSCME. We are then affiliated with AFSCME International, which has 1.6 million members across the country and in Puerto Rico. And that is further affiliated with the AFL-CIO umbrella, which is more than 11 million workers across the country. Now I want to address the top five things that I want to focus on in my two-year term. The first one is to have a dramatic increase in problem-solving work groups that are, have a, a mix of represented local Indian employees and management to address the problems that the county faces. We've had recent successes with these types of work groups, and I think they not only empower our members to have a seat at the table and, and be involved in problem solving, but they have an opportunity to come up with more innovative solutions, more creative solutions, than might otherwise happen in isolation. So I wanna, I wanna push for a dramatic increase in those throughout the county and in all departments. The second thing that I wanna focus on is the demographic changes that are going on in Multnomah County and across America. In very few years, a huge number of baby boomer generation workers are gonna be retiring. And at Multnomah County, that is gonna be a huge knowledge base and leadership that is gonna be leaving our, our organization. And it's an opportunity to recruit and retain new workers into the workforce and make public service viable and attractive to younger workers graduating from college. I really want to work on this as well as knowledge transfer between the outgoing workers and the new ones coming in and leadership development of those new workers. The third thing I want to focus on is providing greater employee choice around technologies in the workplace, preventative health, work schedules, our work spaces, and continuing education. I think we have a huge opportunity in this area, and I think we just need to use creativity on how we can increase choice. Different employees in different stages of their life and in different life situations want different things. And I think as benefits to our employees, we can offer more choice and more opportunity 
around these issues. The fourth thing that I want to focus on is developing a culture within Local 88 and eventually the county of continuous improvement, more risk taking, more pilot pro projects, more innovation, quicker learning. In essence, I want to develop a culture where we try new things, we take what works and leave the rest, and we continually improve as we go forward. The fifth thing that I want to focus on is to turn Local 88 into a model of what 21st century unionism could look like. I want to leverage technology wherever possible to educate our members and to engage with our organization to be more efficient and effective at delivering our services. I want our members to be engaged in politics and social change in the community and our state. And I want to stay connected to our allies throughout the world. And finally, I have a few closing remarks. In a broader sense, what I want to know is how Multnomah County as a workplace can become a place that improves our health, improves our well-being, contributes to our personal growth, rather than wear us down and burn us out. How can we be healthier within ourselves so that we can better serve our families and our community? The problems that we face as a planet, whether that's global climate change, increasing toxics in our environment, the end of oil, um, global financial meltdown, they're unprecedented. And I think all of us need to do our part to work towards uh, a future of social equity, environmental justice, and a thriving economy. We're only limited by our creativity and our courage to make a difference. And I invite all of you to join me on my personal journey and your personal journey towards these ends. Thank you.